All right, he sold it's me time. on it. Let's go! Oh, yeah! <laughs> you did it, dude! Hell yeah, oh, dude! It's fucking huge, dude! Holy dick's out shit. for Harambe! Oh my god, my face <laughs> is getting red, dude! That's a dick, boys! I'm gonna go jerk off by. Sweet little dog. <laughs> Yesterday. Yesterday. Wow. And that's we how you wrap that. We should start one of those, uh, what are they called? <laughs> we have to send that to William Montgomery, I think. <laughs> it was, it yeah. was just a striking rendition. Do you think he... Yeah. Would, you, Think he get turned on by it? He might. Yeah. yeah. What are those groups of people that do sing like that called? Uh, like a flash like a quartet? Yeah, you know? or something. We should start one, dude. <laughs> a barbershop <laughs> quartet. <laughs> you went for four people, and I went for 34 people. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, what is that, a quartet? And I was like, oh, a flash mob? <laughs> Have you ever been a part of a flash mob or no, seen one? No, I don't think I so. wish I could. I wish if anybody's gonna set one up, please <laughs> put yeah. me on your emailing list. Yeah, like, my email is <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Book me for I mean fuck for your dude. Book, yeah, I book think me like for that flash would be mobs fun. for shows. Wouldn't like, that be hilarious to just like break out and dance in like the middle of a mall with like a group of strangers? But dude? it's actually a comedy show though yeah. too. <laughs> so everybody does a minute while you're flash mobbing. Yeah. And you're like, what's the deal with doing podcasts <laughs> in a convention center? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just have to deal with all these dick and cum jokes. <laughs> like, you know, they're just trying to fucking go to Bed yeah, Bath and Beyond or Bath and Body so, Works. People and are fucking... so drawn in. They're like, but do I go to Build a Bear or do I watch this guy yeah. finish? Yeah, yeah, this guy's walking his kids into Build a Bear and somebody's like, what's the deal with cum? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I don't know. I've been trying to figure it out for 49 years. <laughs> that stuff gets everywhere. Oh, it does. Oh, my God. Where are my kids? <laughs> well, at least yeah. i know what's the deal with calm now yeah yeah right <laughs> his kids get kidnapped uh, yeah. probably by one of the comics yeah. <laughs> it was me <laughs> if anybody wants two kids for sale i have i'm glad we started out light this yeah episode. <laughs> <laughs> It's the best. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> Was that the line? Yeah. Oh, my head just rolled over it. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is a good start. I yeah. always like a good start to a... I had a bad day. We're lucky we're even here, dude. True. Yeah. True. Yeah. That's because Jesus said so, right? Yeah, he ordained it. Right. We signed papers. Mel Gibson told me, dude. Nick Cage told me not to, but... Why would he not, do that, dude? Nah. Ever since he was in that pig movie, dude, well, he's been acting weird. I think, <laughs> it, I think it started. I think it started when he thought it was a good idea to ride a motorcycle and catch his head on fire. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that. Doesn't really do good for longevity. You know what I mean? Yeah, it yeah. doesn't. Yeah. Have you seen the knockoff Five Nights at Freddy's movie he was in? Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. No. No. It, I forget what exactly it was called, but um, it's like the same idea as Five Nights at Freddy's, where like he's four working. and a half nights at yeah, Yolanda's. Yeah. <laughs> at five, yeah. It, it's like a Chuck E. Cheese type deal with animatronics, and like, oh. dude, he just is like chugging these colas. Like, it was yeah. a big part of the movie for you to know that he was chugging these Just colas. Chugging so yeah, is, man. Dude, what? Like, these off brand colas. Imagine how many times they had to shoot a take of that scene. And he's yeah. just chugging. And he slams it down and crunches it and, like, throws it in the gar every, like, time he does it. Because he keeps doing it. Like, yeah. you see it more. Like, they want to make sure you know. <laughs> that he's doing this oh, on top of fighting animatronics must have been a sponsor yeah well it's some brand i think it was like a no brand because like it's a very not well it's a cheap movie oh uh, well womp womp yeah it's just dr thunders i wish i knew the fucking <laughs> name they probably don't it's not Mountain even hauler yeah, it's he's like a yeah. chugging sam's cola <laughs> <laughs> it, even that isn't like it was like they just made their own sticker for it. Oh, you we know? just gotta go more white trash. It just says was like cola. Yeah. 
Whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a gas station in Mahoning Town as like eight packs of Fago for cheap right now. Dude. For four fifty. <laughs> yeah, they were like. <laughs> <coughs> I rode past it and they were displaying it on their like sign out front, like the whole <laughs> gas sign, you know, like yeah. it says their gas prices. I was like, wow, they really want like Where ICP at? fans to oh, yeah. <laughs> come in here. People just walk in and show Gina's. their buttholes. Oh, Gina. In, in my owning time. <laughs> yeah. I was like, damn, they're really going to bring them in. All the juggalos, dude. <laughs> All the fake a fago cell like that, dude. <laughs> you better put a cork on it, <laughs> dude. It's weird being able to see people driving by. Yeah, I, like I wonder what they think. Like they look in and see the floodlights, and they're like, ha, "Look at those virgins." <laughs> they probably think we're cool as fuck, dude. I don't know, dude. I probably should take the sign on the window down that says that we're virgins. The free turkey dinner yeah. sign. Yeah, Classic. that's actually very foreboding and making me hungry. <laughs> like, we probably should take an intermission and take that fucking sign down. <laughs> because every time I look over, I'm like, I want turkey now. Yeah. A free turkey dinner would yeah, be like delicious. Literally, uh. name something better than dinner, right? Yeah. Turkey's pretty good, too, okay? Turkey's and then, not my favorite. And then add on top of that, fucking free, yeah. dude. Yeah. If it's free, free, I'll eat it, yeah. If it's but I prefer free, ham over turkey. It's for me. <laughs> ham over turkey, though. Some old guy said that one time. I didn't make that up. So, <laughs> turkey and ham are both not my favorite. I'll eat them both. But if you had a choice, ham or turkey, you going turkey? I'm probably picking turkey. I'd probably pick turkey ham. guy. Bird guys, huh? I'd pick ham. I'm a pig boy. <laughs> <laughs> I do like ham. Yeah, ham. You got to eat it with something else. It's not good, like, by itself. Mayonnaise. <laughs> I don't know Just why I said that. <laughs> that's <laughs> mayonnaise that, like, on your I ham. I don't know what I put on ham, actually. <laughs> mustard. No. I'd put mustard nope, on nope, it. I, I like it with, it. like, eggs. Yeah. Ham and eggs. Yeah. I'll dip it in some mashed potatoes, too. All right, I didn't that's realize that. Dr. Seuss was here. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you like them immediately. Green. Like we're talking about fucking sauces, and you're like, I'd eat it with eggs. <laughs> 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 All right, dude, you want to go write a book too? It's like, <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, now show him your cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's That's get a pull dick out, dude. <laughs> well, oh, yes, we're we're close. Close. Here oh my it is. God. <laughs> We're getting Wait, so hang on. Close. No. <laughs> He's gonna do it eventually, dude. I, I feel just weird keep the sitting back. On. Like I feel, <laughs> I feel like an eight-year-old when I sit back. Like my feet almost like don't touch the ground. You know. That's how we like to make our guests feel. Dude. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm so small. Yeah. <laughs> we want you to feel like Chris Hansen's about to come out and yell at us for talking to you. <laughs> Take a seat. Yeah. <laughs> dude, those videos are crazy. Oh. You see Vitaly doing that recently? Who? Vitaly. He's like an old school YouTuber, but he's recently started like to catch a predatoring people. Oh, dude, oh, those yeah? things are popping up everywhere. Oh, we talked yeah. about it's it. It's fucking wild. Yeah, man. Because dude. last like last week or the week before, he like confronted this dude like it's like in a grocery store. Excuse me. And this old dude, he started going ah ah <laughs> ah like he couldn't hear. Like, and people thought he was disabled and like, it, like he, it's cause he scared him and he just didn't know what to do. It's like, no, he was meeting up with a 13 year old boy. He knew what he was doing. Motherfucker just pretended he was disabled to trick all of you. And it worked. <laughs> so here's the thing that we discussed the last time we talked about it on here. Um, are they doing more harm than good? Because they caught they 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 caught somebody wrong. Yeah. Peop, uh, we talked about somebody who wasn't. <laughs> yeah. Like they ambushed somebody like that, like how they do. And, and it was the wrong person. It was the wrong person. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Real bad Imagine for that, that person. Being a prank for that person. Yeah. Though. Oh my god! How awful. Like, Would that <laughs> be real? pranked you. Yeah. <laughs> and then a lot Dang. of times are um they're um. So, like, it's one thing if they're reaching out to a real child. Like, say, like, if they reached out to my kid and I ambushed them and 
punch them in the throat. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like one thing if they're reaching out to a real kid. What these people are doing are making fake profiles and like I feel like sometimes maybe enticing them also. Yeah. You know, which like obviously still not good, but like you can't use that for anything. True. In the long run right. where we really need it. Yeah. Yeah. You got a point. We have to well, Technically, I don't think I don't think the police departments are supposed to be like working with, together with them. Yeah. Some some of them have, but yeah, I don't think right. like Newcastle won't. And I think that's I believe that's right. You know what I mean? For them, so like if yeah, we were to, like they if don't we were want to get in trouble. Yeah. We were to or they want to be able to prosecute them mainly. Right. So if we were to like pretend to be a kid and get somebody to come here while we were filming this and have them sit down and we fuck with them and they like get them to admit it, the cops won't do shit. No. That's we literally so watched. Yeah. They did it to somebody here in Newcastle. They walked them to the police station. The guy admitted it to them. He was here for like a seven-year-old. Yeah. He admitted it to the cops, and they couldn't detain him. That makes me sick to my stomach. Right, yeah. dude. It's crazy. Yeah. All right. So, like, what do you do? Let's, you know what I mean? F- that's fucked. I yeah. mean, but we know his face now, I guess. You know what we could do? I seen him walking the other day, actually. We could do past four star. We could. Should have stopped and fishtailed him and hit him. <laughs> <laughs> fucking before my car died, I could have fucking hit him. <laughs> you want to do a little murder? <laughs> <laughs> you ever do it before? <laughs> and fucking take this guy out, huh? Well, like that's like basically what it's gonna. I mean, like, if you have faces, there are people crazy enough to be like, hey, look, there's that dude, and they just have, like, a crossbow, and they're fucking <laughs> backseat, dude, and they just impale him like fucking Blade or something, man, you know? There's yeah. the daywalker, get him. <laughs> like, hey, you know? You've got a point. Bro, people are crazy enough. Somebody will catch that motherfucker on the wrong day, wrong night. Yeah. Like I said, I seen him walk, and I was like, ah, Kick that motherfucker in the throat <laughs> if I wasn't doing something right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel every time I like pass somebody that like needs help on the highway. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I've always wanted to stop, but not today. <laughs> I gotta get to work. Yeah, or something like I get Maybe it. Maybe if I wasn't in the middle of anything else. <laughs> I told Anthony uh, on the way here. I was shocked at the amount of people that stopped to ask me if I was okay when my car broke down. Today. For real? Yeah. Like, uh, so, like, within, uh, I sat there for maybe, like, 20, 20, 30 minutes, and five or six people asked me if I needed help, and uh, one of them helped me push it off to the side of the road. Faith and humanity restored. restored. Yeah, man. I was like, wow. And not just guys, men, women, like, like, women had no problem being like, hey, there's a guy stuck on the side of the road. Does he need help? Because I wouldn't picture that. He's going to like, find the window up. <laughs> that guy got tattoos on his hands. It's a, it's, a, <laughs> it's a man in a car, not in the woods, not yeah. out of the car. But it's. I wish it was a bear because I'd help him. <laughs> if that was a bear, I'd help that car. <laughs> but that wasn't the case. Yeah. So. But it was a man in a car, and I still helped him, <laughs> and I didn't get hurt. Oh. It was awkward having to I'd be like, yeah, AAA is coming. AAA is coming. Yeah. And they're like, you sure? I'm like, I, Me too. I called oh. them. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> I talked to them on like, the phone. AAA is coming. They're like, are you sure? You're like, yeah, and me too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I need a dopamine rush right now. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, ah. You just crank one out. Hey, that's. Yeah, that shit that's, sucked, dude. They say whenever you uh, have car trouble, the best way to pass time is to. Crank one out. Masturbate, yeah. yeah. I read that somewhere. Yeah. It's Tri- definitely AAA somewhere. advertises it. Yeah, it was yeah. in AAA magazine. Yeah. Oh, I thought Pretty I sure. saw it in People. I think oh, it was a... It was probably yeah. in People at one point. Yeah. Right. It was a big thing for yeah. a while. Yeah. I remember that. So was drinking and driving. That was always a big thing. Yeah. That was the cover George Clooney was on, wasn't it? Do you ever see those fucking commercials <laughs> when they first started, like... Making drinking and driving illegal, <laughs> bro. They're hilarious. Like the old like news casts of yeah. people, like they're like laws just passed of 
you're no longer allowed to have alcoholic beverages or open containers while you drive. And they're like interviewing people that are coming back from the grocery store with like cases of beer that get into their car, <laughs> yeah. open the case, and they're like, they said I can't drink my beer while I drive home. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> and then they just peel out. <laughs> Dude, it's fucking hilarious. Like, what year did they make it illegal? Do you do you know? In like the I have late no 80s, idea. maybe. I, I, wow, just that close. That's yeah, not that I mean, long it wasn't ago. long ago. Because I mean, funny. if you talk to your parents, like they literally have stories that like cops would be like, "All right, do you want me to follow you home?" Like, "All right, come on, you want me to? You you gonna be all right to drive home?" Pretty sure I've seen my dad drive with a beer a time or two. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it happens all the time. I mean, yeah. people still drive with a beer. I mean, when you go to the beach, it's like a rite of passage, right? Everybody has beers when they drive. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe my family's just built different. <laughs> it's me, Balake, from yet another podcast. Just wanted to let you guys know, we're proudly brought to you by the meatiest of guys. Meat guys. Are you tired of having subpar meats in your mouth? You know that supermarket meat full of glue? Dye? God knows what else? Well, drive your ass up to West State Street and look no further than meat guys the number one source of quality meat in all of Lawrence County. With premier selections of everything to beef and chicken, pork and lamb, these guys will do you right and fill you all with whatever meat you desire. Hell, they might even be able to get you some ostrich if you ask enough. Use the promo code MEATGAPPERS for 10% off your order and tell them Blake and Anthony sent you. Meat Guys, West State Street, Newcastle, if you're driving towards Walmart, you absolutely cannot miss it. Or find them online at meatguys.com. That's M E A T G U Y Z.com. Or Facebook.com, meatguys with a Z. This podcast is also proudly presented to you by RJO Cleaners, the best commercial cleaning service in Western PA. If you're in search of a professional cleaning service for your commercial building, we promise RGO will get you right. You can find them online at rgocleaners.com. RGO Cleaners, where cleanliness meets perfection. I like that episode of South Park where they take the, they're all driving drunk everywhere and then fucking they take alcohol away and they make it illegal. So Randy, he has a pot farm, but he comes up with Tegarty Snow. It's, oh, they're all coked out, dude. They're all doing coke and driving. <laughs> so funny, dude. Dude, I love South Park. I do, too. I was never allowed to watch it when I was growing up, and, like, I was a good little boy, and I listened to my mommy. Yeah. So <laughs> I didn't actually watch it. I've never gotten around to watching it. I've seen, what? like, I've seen like five episodes of South Park, bro. Oh, I've man. seen the episode where Chef dies. Hilarious. Oh, yeah. I the, remember that No, one. guys, really, they say the last thing you do before you die is you shed your... <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, some of the uh, beginning seasons, uh, the animations may be, for some people, a little yeah. hard to get through. I don't mind them. I've seen the first season, like, every time I've tried to... I've probably tried to watch it, like, five times. I've seen the first season, like, five times. Like, yeah. when the fucking the probe gets in Cartman's ass. Yeah, dude. Hilarious. That's yeah. a legendary episode. Yeah, I, I've that animation so makes me feel nostalgic, though. Yeah, yeah. Like, because I grew as it up gets watching. more and more yeah. AI. Yeah, I remember. They'll probably be able days. to make an episode in like five minutes in the next few years if they can already with AI. Oh yeah. Yeah, like, I'm that's sure crazy. it's crazy. Fucking hard at this point. Yeah. Do they have a chat? Do they have a chat GPT episode yet? I uh, the surprise they, they have, don't. I feel like one the newest. Just like, no, no, man, they have something one new that about let, AI. They oh, fully yeah. let yeah. AI just write the episode. Uh, that I don't know, but they have. That would be slick. They ha they talk that about AI. I think in the newest. Because uh, like now they're doing like, they don't have regular episodes anymore. Right. They have like longer, almost like movie type episodes. Right just based around a subject okay or whatever like, so, like one of the, the newer ones like, is like about ozempic everybody being on ozempic yeah i think stuff. i started so i was i was recently uh so i like to say that I was, i'm a retired fuck boy yeah but you used uh, to do a lot recently of i came out of a, a retirement and i was hanging out with a chick that put on south park and it was that episode oh, oh they okay. were talking about yeah. it yeah so i know what you're talking about yeah 
And that's when I was like, realized that it's funny as fuck. And yeah. I've never yeah. watched it. And like, I, I need like, to uh, watch it. I like the cred episode because Randy starts an OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Dude, I, I seen the one where, uh, uh, was it the, the Stan, his dad, his balls grow really Randy, fucking big. Yeah, Elephant tussis or whatever it is. Randy's Elephant my titus. spirit animal, dude. And he has to like carry, <laughs> he like has to carry his balls around in a milk crate. I do too. Oh, dude. <laughs> no, <I'm> just, <laughs> shit's fucking hell. He has his balls in a wheelbarrow yeah, at one yeah, point, yeah. dude. Also, it he just, could smoke weed. It just yeah. kept getting, <laughs> so he could so he could go to the fucking weed clinic. It just it kept medicinal. getting bigger and bigger <laughs> and bigger, dude. It yeah. is, oh, dude. That he was putting him in. Hilarious. He was like what? Putting him in the microwave and yeah. shit to like get them all. <laughs> it's it's hilarious, bro. <laughs> to give himself cancer. Or something. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah. So he could just literally get some flour. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The lengths we used to go through to fucking smoke some weed, bro. Oh, my it's God. It's insanity. Yeah. Some brick weed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> some fucking brick. But some fucking it got brick me higher mids. than anything now, dude. It does. Yeah. Well, yeah. somebody... Uh, somebody... Ah, uh, uh, shit. What's his name? Aaron Douglas. Aaron Douglas, yeah. Has a theory that name drop. weed is not as strong as it used to be. That's cap, dude. You just don't have your card, huh? Don't get me wrong. I still get lit sometimes. Oh, but buddy. There's, there's a lot of... Well, he was saying it doesn't last as long. Oh, dude, I have my medical card, and I took a dab of some fucking rosin yesterday. No, he wasn't talking about dabs, though. All right. Well, yeah. He was talking okay. about flour. Well, then, let's go... Let's he was go, talking about flour. Let's go to today. And I was on my way here. And I literally go to get out of my car, and I, like, rub my hands on my pants, and I go, am I only wearing boxers? <laughs> <laughs> that just happened yeah <laughs> that's fair yeah like yeah. the shit that i was smoking before i came is like 30 percent. i was like do i roll a joint of this and selfishly i was like it's too good <laughs> well like I'm maybe it's a it mix me. maybe it's a mix of like because like you do have like those delta eights and shit yeah out there. you got to be careful with delta eight i mean plus like if you're going, like, I was just in L.A. Diet too, weed. and the fucking mm-hmm. weed out there is fucking bananas, too, bro. Yeah. You got to be careful. And they're lying about it, too. Yeah. Like, man. weed scientifically cannot have over 34% THC because you need other proteins in the plant. Oh, okay. Like, you physically cannot go. So if you see somewhere, like, if you're in L.A., like I just was, and I'm reading these menus, and they say the strain of flour is 44%, I'm like, yeah, you're a fucking liar like there's no it can't be look at look it up can you look at can we we pull it up yeah is that a thing that happens hell yeah always casually like if you were in la like i was (laughs) (laughs) that was a terrible transition humble because i meant to be like (laughs) not to be humble to be like like i was looking at the menu yeah Yeah. (laughs) he got me I'm a bitch. Yeah, no, I was just doing comedy in Los Angeles. At the comedy store. Not a big deal. <laughs> we got some. You're right. What the is it biological read? limits on THC, THC production mean that th- uh, about 35% total THC by dry weight is a rough upper limit for strains. So 35. Okay. So maybe anybody who says that just has like a tolerance. You should issue. almost never see a strain with more than thirty-five percent total THC by yeah. drive. Wait, wait, you need almost it never. It says, or yeah, never? it does says almost. Well, almost. If it is, it'd probably be thirty-six. Would be the highest then, because like I said, you do need those proteins yeah. and the other nutrients to be able to grow. Listen, man, this is unconfirmed. I mean, you could probably yeah, you Google could put shit. <laughs> you could put shit on it too. Yeah. To yeah. add to it, like, like fentanyl, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like when you <laughs> wrap it, the park. when you like wrap it in keef and put yeah. fucking yeah, yeah. wax on it and shit. Yeah. shit yeah. yeah, like those joints are crazy. Yeah, those joints are crazy. I seen some wild shit before. Like I think there were like Monster Energy ones too, and like like Monster Energy joints, and they were just like they were covered in crystals. I was like, man, that looks nuts. That thing looks crazy. Bro, they're fun. No, I, I, uh, so I used to work for Carnival Cruise Ships. <clears throat> I was a carpenter for them before uh, you COVID. You didn't get to go on ships. You didn't get to go on cruises? <clears throat> no, yeah, I did. Oh, hell yeah. So it would be like an in-service trip. Like, 
in 2019, I spent the entire summer t- uh, sailing around the UK. Shit. So like every 12 days, the passengers would get off, but we'd get back on because we were doing a three month job. So we were redeveloping the casino, like blowing out walls, hanging televisions. And then on the floor above that, we blew out a couple walls, took out a painting and hung a TV sunk in the wall, like sub sunk into the wall. And then we hung a new TV in the bar, took out a pillar that obstructed view from patrons and um, fixed the support so it didn't com- be it wasn't compromised. And uh, that took three months. But the entire time we're sailing around the UK and I forgot why I was telling the story. Sounds amazing, Fuck. though. What was <laughs> I, well, I was making a point to something. I don't remember. I have CTE. You're talking about weed. Yeah. Did you blow out a wall and then blow some herbs and no, spices? No, we didn't really. <laughs> it wasn't really there. I don't remember what I was talking How about. How was the UK? Dude, it was fucking cool. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I had a homeless guy by They make it look rainy and cloudy. Was it was. Yeah. Very rainy and cloudy. It sucks, dude. The, Typical Pittsburgh weather. Yeah. <laughs> the first day we landed, <coughs> there Typical was a Gotham weather. There was a homeless dude that was walking around with a dog on a backpack, and I was like, "Hey man, can you find me some pot?" He goes, "Yeah." And I was like, "Okay, how much?" He goes, "How much you want?" And I was like, "I don't know, like an eighth." He was like, "Okay, come with me." <laughs> I was like, "Okay, cool." So I followed this dude with a guy that I was working with that we literally had just met before the plane took off and then spent six hours on a plane watching movie and <laughs> not really talking. <laughs> we found weed, followed this dude into an alley. He took our money, left his backpack and his dog and came back 10 minutes later with a bag of weed. And I was like, oh, that sure. was the wildest thing that's yeah, ever man. really happened. It's not <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel Out like of nowhere, the, the, maybe. you could, it, like I always told people, man, you could drop me anywhere and I could find somebody if oh, I yeah. wanted to, dude. Yeah. You just ask any, man, yeah. go to a bar, just fucking, you, even the bartender. Yeah. Just fucking have a drink or something, fucking ask the bartender and they'll be like, fuck mm, yeah. Either yes or no. They don't give a fuck. Yeah. yeah. It's a bartender. They're like, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> or China. Or like that guy over there. Is <laughs> it? <laughs> <laughs> Down at the end of the bar. <laughs> then you go ask the guy at the end of the bar, and all he has is cocaine. <laughs> You're like, well. <laughs> Went in Rome. No. <laughs> That's true. That's I'm true. kidding. It's all fentanyl, dude. Don't do it. If Unless lucky. you have Narcan on you, then maybe risk it. I don't know. Yeah. Test your kit, something. Be safe out you there. Just get, I have Narcan <laughs> on me tattooed on your chest. Yeah. <laughs> it like, is crazy my what they're pocket. doing. <laughs> I hate, though, like, what do you think? Uh, I've never actually seen it to be true, but, like, I always randomly, like, once, every once in a while, I'll see some shit, like, watch out, they're putting fentanyl on weed. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I don't I think do they're that doing that, sometimes. dude. Yeah, I don't think so yeah, either. Yeah, that'd be brutal. You know, hard? How, how would, would you distribute that throughout the weed? Yeah. You're just, like, sp- <laughs> sprinkling it on the bags, dude? Like, yeah, what are you that doing? Wouldn't, that wouldn't make sense. <laughs> it's usually old people who say it though, so no, no old shocker heads, there. Old heads have <laughs> the craziest. They have the craziest sayings too. <laughs> yeah, a couple. They, the, they called the me and Anthony shit. a couple of chuckleheads. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was that's like, pretty, that's pretty good though. I was yeah. like, a chucklehead. You can't be really mad at that. <laughs> no. so, like, I thought go, it was funny. So yeah. You go home and you like look it up, and you like it's like one guy that like pulls down the other person's pants in public, and, like, <laughs> calls attention to it, and you're like. Guess we are chuckleheads. Yeah, hey, <laughs> show us your cock, dude. No, yeah. just, <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> hey, we're getting closer yeah, every dude. time, every dude. Let's go. You almost stood all the way up. Yeah, <laughs> we yeah. showed ours before. Anthony's the only one that didn't. Yeah, he's like, he's scared, man. <laughs> I don't want to intimidate anybody. That's true. Yeah. But it's just, uh, I would probably just immediately start sweating. So thank you for not doing that because I am wearing beige. <laughs> trying to be conscientious, though, yeah. I guess. I call him Ben Anthony word. for a reason. <laughs> ben Anthony's got a fucking wrench. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's here to do work. Yeah. <laughs> he's here to fix your plumbing. Snap on, dropped him off in 93 and never looked back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> When were you born? 87. Okay. Snap on dropped him off in 87 and never looked back. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, never mind. I'm not even going to say it. It's got That's a funny. weapon. 
Yeah. Uh, about babies. Never mind. About about babies. Yeah. I'll tell you after. Okay. Hell Somebody yeah. else's job. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. <clears throat> it's funny though. <laughs> Fuck it with. gets. It makes me laugh. Get to make him laugh. <laughs> 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 Oh man! All right, on to real topics. How do you feel about toothy blowjobs, dude? Nah. No, absolutely not. I Listen. would literally. I've. Yep. I've kicked people out for less. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not saying it's always good, but isn't it the teeth that make the mouth? <laughs> like not in this instance. I don't know, man. Just a little. I'm kidding. No. <laughs> just a little nibble. No. no. No, you don't want a cheese grater. I'm just no, kidding. dude. No. <laughs> no. No. And, like, I'm questioning the blowjobs that you get now. No. No. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Good. Good. You good. Uh, for a hand on it while it's going or, you know? Is that how big you are? Are you trying to brag? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> no, it's not like. It's yeah, not dude, like, you it's like crazy. just one hand, dude. <laughs> oh, you fucking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> if she doesn't have two hands and both her feet on there, dude. <laughs> fuck off, girl. I'm I wanna, going home. I want to blow in bubbles on it, too, dude. <laughs> You got people listening like, what does that even mean? <laughs> I think, I hope Look they do. it know. up. <laughs> <laughs> it would be like blowing bubbles on that dick. On that dick? <laughs> They're like, is it a Cardi B song? <laughs> it's close. Probably. It probably is, honestly. It's a Morgan Wallen song. <laughs> <laughs> Featuring Kodak. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, <laughs> no, not exactly like that. Like, do you like a stroke action with it? 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she okay. doesn't know what she's doing if she doesn't do that, huh? Yes. Dude, did you go to the uh, the riff off last week or last uh, night? No, I fucking, uh... Had anything yeah, other to no. do? I just, the whole night got miffed. Mm. And, yeah, so, no, uh, how did it go, though? I went last week. I didn't go this week, but last week was sick. Um, it was just a lot of fun, but it was, uh, I don't know. It's just like, it's like, you know how you normally go to a mic and you have what you want to do prepared? Yeah. So I've done you a kinda bucket like, pool right, before, and, yeah. Right, but you kind of like think about what you want to do kind of like while you're on the way and then while right. you're chilling there like you're sure you can hang out and like just chop it up but it's in your but it's still in the back of your mind yeah. right like every time like maybe you go take a piss and you're like oh fuck i gotta excuse me gotta remember what i'm doing here and you know whatever but the difference with that is like you go and not only do you not know when you're gonna get picked but you don't know what the topic is gonna be and you have to just come up with something right on the spot so it's like everybody is in the same boat as each other Excuse me. And you have to figure out, well, you don't have to, but you do, you have the ability to figure out who is naturally funny in those moments. Yeah. And it's a lot of fun. And like, I feel like it just takes a lot of stress off of everybody because you're not like trying to prepare for what you're going to say and like how you're going to deliver it and shit like that. And it like takes your mind off of your like normal That's fair. routine and like your yeah. normal writing style and your normal delivery. And I just did go a up and like pool. just be free once but uh it was like the oldest crowd in existence like i mean like a lady that looked like rose from the titanic <laughs> was watching me and i was pulling shit like surprise panel yeah and i'm like rape <laughs> is now what that is yeah. like i mean like <laughs> like i you know like how do you talk to rose from titanic about hey do you ever have somebody sneak it in your asshole <laughs> like <laughs> it's tough you could have asked her like what the biggest <laughs> what the biggest bottle of lube she's ever seen was uh i went i think i was talking about browser history uh, <gasps> uh i think i went like oh that route. 
Yeah. Speaking of browser history, did yeah. you see the fucking uh, Amazon tribe that Elon gave the internet to? No. He gave his fucking what's it called Neuralink. His, yeah. His, his his. Oh, the his brain Wi-Fi? chip. Wi-Fi? No, his Wi-Fi thing. Oh, oh, that's not Neuralink. What's it? That's uh. The brain chip's Neuralink. You're right. What the hell is the? What's his internet? Whatever the uh, Starlink. Starlink. Starlink yeah. So he gave Starlink to an Amazon tribe, and within six months, the entire tribe had developed. All the men had developed a porn addiction. I did see something. Everybody like that. under the all the children had started playing violent video games and were addicted to their phones. Damn. Yeah, dude. It's Hell fucking yeah, dude. crazy. Let's go, yeah, bro. It's fucking crazy. It's Welcome like, to the this party. Is, yeah, like, dude. This is America. Yeah, <laughs> like, uh, yeah, like we're having the a kids good time. Are playing video games, just yeah, talking dude. shit on live. Like <laughs> I was playing video games all morning. Violent ones. <clears throat> violent video games are the best, bro. It's the only video games I play, really. I play some racing ones, but even those, like the amount of yeah, if you don't pedestrians crash, I hit, yeah, dude. If you don't crash into people like yeah, in every like fifteen minutes. When I play Need for Speed, I, I if I'm neck and neck with someone, I'm actively trying to knock them into yeah. oncoming traffic, dude. Oh, I need yeah. to get that pole position, dude. <laughs> there was a there was a motorcycle racing game I played back in the day. I forget what the hell it was called. But, like, you used to be able to, like, hit people with stuff. Like, oh, on sport road bikes. rash. Road rash. Road rash, yes, bro. Dude. Yeah. And they and you'd win and they'd go, woo Yeah, woo-hoo. yeah. You'd have chains, dude. Yeah, you'd dude. Yeah. Or, like, the two, or the two yeah, by four. Yeah. yeah, dude. And then if you punched whenever they were swinging, you could steal it from them. Oh, oh yeah. bro. Classic, that was so money. Dude. Yeah, I I'm going to go a, home and fucking uh, play that was shit. Was it called yeah. skitching? Maybe too. It was yeah, about when you'd hold on, hold to, the on back to the back of the car. Yeah, there was a game about it where that's how you race. Oh. Yeah, you can you can sketch. I've never played a game based on that, but yeah, you can dude. sketch on like Tony Hawk. And yeah, stuff. I yeah, yeah. That. Like, and skate. Yeah. No, for like Sega or Super Nintendo, there was like a a, a sketching game where that. That looked like a fucking wow. motherfucker. Makes State me, boy. Yeah. Stateies, like. statey bees. <laughs> <laughs> Cocksuckers. Yeah, I don't remember that game. Well, yeah. It was cool. I'll have to look it up. I think you're going crazy, dude. Maybe I am, dude. Yeah. Maybe it's uh, Mandela from a different effect. No, it didn't yeah, fucking it's from happen, a different dude. timeline. Dude, I yeah. got Mandela earlier this week. Yeah. What's today? Tuesday? Maybe it was last yeah. week. I just did it again. Yeah. <laughs> Mandela. No, like, I like turned my fucking handle from my door at my house to the left all the time. And then last week, I, like, couldn't turn it left, only right to open it. And I was like, what the fuck is going on, bro? I know I can turn it left. Like, I know I can turn yeah. it left. Yeah. It just wasn't working all week. And then like, a couple days ago, I go to turn, I go to go inside, and I turn it left, and it worked. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck is happening right now? You were in a different Brief timeline. Brief dip into day, another timeline, yeah. Yeah, bro, I'm just not The stoked. bizarre one. Yeah. I'm I think that's stoked. why we're having all this weather stuff. And the, maybe I maybe all door. the timelines are starting to like converge. It's because I couldn't open my door. Yeah. Yeah, man. You started it. Your fucking door. Why'd you start this? Somebody's dude? gonna come kill me here in the next couple of days. I think. Yeah, between everything you've said here today, dude. Wayfair. Yeah, look at me fucking... acting like I'm the main character. Yeah. <laughs> Wayfair. Yeah, dude. I'm not the man on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Denzel, dude. <laughs> you look like him a little bit. Well, maybe a little bit. Like <laughs> I could be Denzel, dude. <laughs> Denzel, <laughs> Ted's man. fucking. <laughs> King Kong ain't got shit on you, dude. Jamie Kennedy action. <laughs> Hell yeah. I Mal- love Jamie Kennedy. Malibu's most wanted. Yeah, man. Yeah. Classic. I fuck with it. That's a like good one. Classic Jamie Kennedy. Oh, fuck yeah. What? I haven't seen him in a long ass time. I haven't either. Wonder what he's up to. I'm surprised he doesn't have a podcast. I was just gonna say that. Yeah. Everybody does. Dude. He probably does. He probably he does. probably does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He probably does. Just nobody watches it. Yeah. Podcast. Or, Everybody's got a fucking podcast. I don't know. There's a lot of like popular podcasts that I didn't even know of. I'm like, oh, that's a thing. Shit, I've been missing out. Yeah. Fuck you, algorithm. I would have liked that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's hard. That's what I always kind of wish is that there's like a directory of podcasts, like 
an easier way to find and discover new ones and shit. And I feel like Apple. Do you use Apple? No. So I feel like Apple has it pretty easy. That's the one I use. Yeah. Because that comes pre-downloaded on the iPhones. Just like scroll through that and search through that. I found a bunch that were on there that I just like never would have really. Like I listen. Excuse me. I listen to a Canadian podcast for hockey because I'm, I'm a hockey guy. And, like, they just dive so much deeper into it than yeah. anybody that's American does, yeah. really. So I listened to that, and I found it on just the, the home screen of the hockey page. Excuse me. <clears throat> that's right there on the, the podcast app, so. Uh, that's pretty cool. That's fair. I'll look into that. Yeah, uh, I also don't use Apple. We upload to Apple, though, right? We upload, yeah, we upload. To, it, I think to it goes everything. to pretty much everything. Yeah. Hell, yeah. But I'm definitely yeah, listening on Apple. I uh, I had an iPhone for a while. I just prefer Samsung. Really? I like Apple. It's just super overall. easy. Elon came out today and said if uh, iPhone puts Open AI on the new iOS, that Apple products aren't allowed at Tesla factories. Oh shit! Oh shit! Or any facility owned by him. That was just today. I'm pretty sure I saw. Is that what they're talking about doing? Putting yeah, in, yeah, I guess putting open AI in the new iPhones. I mean, like, think about how invasive the iOS is already. Like, with Edward Snowden coming out in 2013 saying that your phone is literally spying on you and he helped build the programming to do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, like, you wonder why you get personalized ads. It's because they're fucking, we don't need these microphones. Like, they, they're already listening to yeah. us. Yeah. Like, yeah. I feel like it's crazy they have open that AI everybody it, knows that and doesn't care. Do they have open AI with that? What? Your phone can literally stop doing whatever it wants, fucking whenever it wants. That's crazy to think about. Yeah. Dude. That's going to get wild. Even, I can almost promise you that we can't even fathom how gnarly this can get. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're only scratching the surface of it. Yeah. Like, there's literally. No t there's it's already, about to get There's nuts. already no turning back. Yeah. There's oh, yeah. already no turning back. Yeah, no. The floodgates are open. It's going to get nuts. And We've I'm, already opened ready, Pandora's I'm, box. I'm ready to yeah. see what happens. It's going to get fucking crazy. Yeah, I'm here for it. I just want to fuck a robot. We can make that happen, dude. Hell yeah. yeah. We know a guy that had a robot waitress. Yeah. She's single now. She's on the street. Probably looking for a place to stay. She's out of work. Does yeah, she like oil or restaurant? Yeah, food. She oil. Okay, she's a, ro she's a hybrid. She's a robot. Yeah, <laughs> she's, a, she's a hybrid robot. Very good housekeeper yeah, you type could energy. Slap a flashlight on. Yeah, she's got 1960s energy. Yeah, homemaker for sure. Okay, she wears an apron all She'd day. She's like Rosie yeah. from yeah. the Jetsons. Dude. Her That's name exactly is exactly what I was picturing. Her name is Rosie. Hundred <laughs> percent. And it's not O'Donnell. Her name is Rosie. Yeah. It's not O'Donnell. Yeah. wonder how the yeah. old girl's doing now. Old girl. Yeah. yeah. She's not aging is how she's doing. She needs a nice little, oh, can. She <laughs> ages. <laughs> Dude, robots, they age like honey. <laughs> Thanks. They get, hard, <laughs> they get hard and crusty. <laughs> isn't that what, isn't that what happens? doesn't go bad. Then? Yeah, I got it. Was, I, I, I feel like Blake good. didn't. <laughs> it was pretty good. Well, I don't know. I had some honey on the outside of the honey bottle, and it got hard and crusty, dude, every time. It's because it hit the oxygen. All right, that's fair. Oh, yeah. Oxidized. Is that, but is that, an, is that a valid argument for the displaced honey that comes out of the container? Because wouldn't it be replaced with oxygen? Like if you, say you have a jar of honey this big and you use this much of it and there's that much space on the top, is that not oxygen now? Would, would that not right? potentially so make suck it in. the rest yeah. of the honey crusty if that were the reason? I believe you can reverse that, though. Like there's oh, if you heat it up, yeah, probably. We go back to. I think we're over our intelligence level, boys. Mm. We need I'm AI to figure to this out. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody call AI. Yeah. <laughs> 1 800 AI. Is that it? I don't know. Let's get a membership What's for Chat number? GPT. I right. have chat BG. I had it. I had. You I can't was even paying spell it. The... Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. CPT. He's like, I, <laughs> I have chat BBT. <laughs> this BB8 from Star Wars. Big, yeah, big booty actually, titties. I was paying for the, the uh, 4.0 or whatever for a while. It's powerful shit, man. Yeah. What was you using it like, for? Like, the regular one is, the free one is cool. 
I, yeah, I just had the free one I was dicking around with. I just ask it weird questions. Yeah. <laughs> you look like it. Yeah. Like, how big is your dick? <laughs> you look like you sit at a table for three hours a day and ask chat GPT weird questions. <laughs> <laughs> Why does nobody love me? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, no, nah, dude, yeah. no, no, nah, dude, stop, stop crying, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Ch- Chad GBT is like, remember when you asked me? As a me? large language model, <laughs> I cannot. Yeah. 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 Remember when you asked me about why horses are happy? <laughs> You're happy too, dude. <laughs> you just need to gallop. Yeah, you just need to gallop. <laughs> <laughs> Run, little Blakey. <laughs> I was I was training AIs for a while. Oh yeah, that's right. That dude, that's yeah, sick. Man. You were fucking them too. Yeah, he's yeah. an evil genius with dude. other dudes. Yeah. You're oh, training yeah. them. Oh, yeah. Sent me pictures. Yeah, <laughs> this is hot. <laughs> I wish I could train. <laughs> I'd love. Yeah, I do. Hey, hey, it ain't much, but it's honest work. <laughs> next time yeah. you get to fucking train an AI, <laughs> brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Anthony's <laughs> dressed like a farmer saying that. It's not much, but it's honest work. No, <laughs> that, <laughs> that is a fucking slogan. Nobody beats our meats. Yeah, that is that's incredible. Good. Those guys are pretty awesome, cool. Dude. Yeah. I mean, you got to be with a slogan like that, oh, right? Yeah. yeah, man. Have they showed you their dicks? Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. We've seen all of them. Yeah. Damn, dude. What? Guys. But they're called the meat you know guys. What you need for whenever your guests ask that totally unhinged question is to just reach out from under the cushions and just pull out dick photos <laughs> <laughs> and just make them real uncut. Like, dude, if you would have handed me a photo of a cock right now, I would have been like, whoa, fuck, <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> like my fucking head would have exploded <laughs> uh, and then you would have been like wait let me see it again yeah <laughs> <coughs> I just want to make a mental they really note. are the meat guys yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, they really do prank the meat <laughs> I couldn't beat their meats that's for sure yeah. like, I'm surprised Arby's hasn't gone out of business with their cocks because they have the meats <laughs> Yeah, I. You know what? I have a real. I've, I've taken a real stand against Arby's, dude. Why, or no, dude? Wendy's. Sorry, never. All right, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say yeah, you better was, fucking send it back. Do with not that. slander Arby's. No. Yeah, we will not tolerate any Anthony's. I mean, wait, no. Anthony and I will not tolerate any Arby's slander. On no, this I like beef and cheddars. I got it mixed up with Wendy's. With no right. red ranch, bro. That shit is so fucking nasty. Yeah. Foul. Yeah. Foul. I just yeah. want the cheese. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah, it's just like slightly smoky ketchup. I don't want. That and then shit my on favorite, <laughs> slightly smoky. I like that. My favorite. That's I funny. like. <laughs> I like to wait until they ask me, like, do I want the single, the double, or the f- whatever the fuck the other. Yeah. You know, yeah. What's the last one? It's like a half, half pound. pound. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, you can tell that I obviously don't listen to that option. <laughs> but like, they don't ask me sometimes, and then I go, yeah, no, I'll take the double, and they go. Oh, you want the beef and cheddar? I'm like, no, yeah, I said that. It's cool, though. I'm better than you at your job. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fucking, do you guys watch uh, Parks and Recreation? Yes. Like when Ron Swanson walks in, the <laughs> Lo- w- walks in the Lowe's or Home Depot, and the guy goes, can I help you today? And he goes, I know more than you. Yeah. And he keeps walking. <laughs> That's how I feel when I talk to fast food workers. About beef and cheddar. Yeah, because my IQ level is 17, and they only have to have a 15 IQ to work there. That's fair. So I just stopped working there last week. <laughs> <laughs> and my doctor told me that I read something, and it actually stuck with me in my head. And I was like, cool, I can quit my job. And he goes, well, and I did it anyway. Damn, dude, you're a rebel. Yeah, it's because I have low IQ. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're courageous. Yeah. But really, mostly I have a low IQ. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. It happens to the best of us, dude. Yeah, I mean, I guess it does. I know a lot of low IQ people. And I'm better than them. Yeah. No, I'm t- <laughs> I'm t- I'm t- <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't mean I treat them any differently. No, <laughs> uh, That's one way to look at it. Yeah, man. I treat everybody equally dude equally bad fucking hell yeah 
For those I'll, listening, we just had a crispy high five. Yeah, that was crispy. You know who gives one of the the best high fives that I've ever had? Ron Wenwick. Yes, dude. Every time. Ron dude. Wenwick gives the best. Every time. It's like thunderous. Shout out to homie. Yeah. Fucking thunderous. I don't think he watches, but no, shit, definitely not. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is thunderous high class like, though. Like I mean, anytime I think about what Ron does outside of comedy, it's um, lives his life. Yeah, and like yeah. thinks about not None. doing comedy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anytime, like, dude, it took him six months to learn my name, and then Sounds I was funny. in I was in Austin for two weeks. And I come back, and he was like, what's your name again? I was like, yeah. damn, bro, talk about riding a high. Yeah, yeah. Like, I performed at the mothership when I was there, and I come uh, back, and this dude was like, what's your name? And I was like, you're right. <laughs> yeah, man, I uh, I walked in the one time, and I thought he had me. I was like, hey, man, so he, I thought he had me down. And he, he just did, thought you were a homeless yeah, dude off bro, the street? Yeah, he thought I was, yeah, just some fucking, yeah, you went in under the, from under the bridge. You went last that night, eh? I went last, yeah. yeah. He was like, ah, uh, he was like, yeah, i sorry, I didn't know. I when like, I yeah, first started, bro, the first, like, month and a half, I want to say, every week I went to Scarps, I would sit at the very front table, right in front of the stage, right in front of the mic, and I would watch every single person from 8 o'clock yeah. until it stopped. Yeah. Every time. And I was like, why the fuck am I doing this? <laughs> why the fuck why the fuck am I doing this? Like nobody was talking to me. Nobody was saying shit. Like I was just standing While you there. were doing comedy? Yeah. Like yeah. I, I didn't I never like went up and like had a like a introduction, like just watching people do it. I was yeah. just so I texted Blair. Have you met Blair? Uh, Parker. We haven't like talked, but I've seen her. She dated one of my buddies and I texted her because I knew she did stand up and I was like, Hey man, can you like give me some information on how to do comedy? Yeah. And I like, I drill water wells and service water wells. So at that time I had to pull a 400 foot well and I put my phone down and it took about four and a half hours to like get everything completed by the time I had time to pull my phone back out because yeah. I had to put gloves on and there's all kind of shit that yeah. gets on your hands. You get disgusting. Yeah. So by the time I was able to like, get those off and get to a point where I could touch my phone again while, without getting shit all over it. <laughs> I had a sequence of text messages from her. Went a little something like, um, yeah, I got a little bit of information. If you want, I can add you to the Facebook group. And then she sent me the Facebook group. And then she said, uh, I actually have a show coming up this weekend and I was going to do a spot tonight. If you want me to sign you up, let me check and see if there's spots. Hey, just letting you know there are spots tonight. If you want me to sign you up. Hey, hope you're not a pussy. I signed you up tonight. <laughs> so I get back to my phone and I go, guess I'm doing stand up tonight. And I never turned back. Yeah, man. Uh, kind of similar yeah. for me. I, uh, I asked Johnny Dan. I was like, how do you, he's a, he's been doing it for a while all over. He's, yeah. he does a lot. And, uh, he was like, Oh, I can add you to this group. I was like, Oh, okay, cool. He didn't sign me up or anything because he doesn't really go down there anymore. Right, much. Yeah. I never really see him down there that much. Right. Um, but, and I just started showing up. Yeah, and that's the biggest like, part right. is just show up. I was like, all right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Get up there and make a fool out of myself for a little bit. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I, I did. I did Getaway was my first mic. Me too, dude. Yeah, yeah. I did. I did three minutes maybe because I, I like tried to memorize everything yeah and like what happened to me earlier i literally had had so many concussions that like i constantly forget what i'm talking about you play hockey dude well i played football <laughs> i played football when i was younger i played football since i was like seven and yeah. then i raced motocross from the time i was oh, nine until i was 19 yeah oh, well, so sure, i've yeah. had a fuck ton, a ton of, of injuries yeah. yeah not even just injuries in general just concussions <laughs> like, strictly yeah. concussions i've, I've, dude. Not, I've I knocked my myself head. out <coughs> so many times yeah so many times it's actually to the point where it's not funny anymore yeah like i'm laughing i, I just I'm last week crashed my bike my mountain bike got another concussion i slammed my fucking dude i cased this table this, oh my god i was okay there's a fucking like a 12 foot drop so i rode over that and dropped down and there's a there's a double after that <coughs> and i threw a whip on the double and I didn't really commit to it because <laughs> I'm a little bitch and I was a little tired. So I didn't bring my hips all the way back and I kind of landed squirrely. And as I was going squirrely, I went up 
to the right and there's a massive boulder probably about the size of this table and i i was like i got a bail or i'm gonna fuck my bike up hitting this yeah. so i dove off slammed my head my fucking you this, opted this, to hit your head then ruin your bike this has ruin a, your have, body dude. i have a hairline fracture in my arm right here but like there's not too much you can do about yeah, it so i was like yeah i'm not wearing fuck all so this scab still kind of healing a little bit but yeah that was two weeks ago i didn't knock myself out or anything but like as you get more and more concussions it's easy as fuck to continue exactly it becomes easier yeah because what a concussion is is your brain hitting the walls of your head yeah and just vibrating i wonder how many times i've been concussed probably a few probably dude yeah because i've been wrong i played football whenever i was younger oh yeah um and then skateboarding i got dude i remember the first i remember the first headache i got was from football the first time we did oklahoma's oh did i went against the kid that's a little bit older than me and bigger than me and he rocked me i remember sitting up having a headache and i remember going home asking my mom why my head hurt so bad i was like why is there so much pressure on my head dude i couldn't have been more than nine yeah i got fucked up pretty young a couple times and then skateboarding i hit my head a bunch Cause There's I ain't no wear a avoiding helmet, it. Cause I ain't a fucking pussy. Dude. Exactly. <laughs> There's no avoiding it. Like you're being, you're just being a guy growing up, being yeah. a boy growing up. Yeah. Dicks out for Harambe. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> we just uh, <coughs> just passed the eight year anniversary. He died for our sins, dude. He died. He died for the unvaccinated. Yeah, he, <laughs> did. he did. He did. I'm gonna grab another beer. I gotta pee. So, yeah, I uh, don't normally, I would say Saturdays through Mondays, usually I don't do much comedy. Unless, like, I have an actual show or something, then obviously I'll fucking clear whatever out. Do as much as you can. Yeah, but if it's, like, a a real show or whatever, I'm not going to be like... I want to do the real show. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. (laughs) Which I've only had two, but still... (laughs) <laughs> hey, they count. Um, because then it's like you know, well, it's an actual show with a real audience. I'm getting paid or whatever. Yeah. You know, and then you actually want to do. It. But for the most part, no mics. I try and make it to Cant Two's every like once or twice a month on Saturday nights. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a fun time. I like going there and just hanging out. Yeah, Cantu's is one of my favorite spots to try new stuff. Oh, absolutely. Especially with all the homies there. Um, a lot of the bits that I really like that work really well started at Cantu's. I know, me too. And there's like a whole bunch of people that like won't pull up there. Whatever. And it doesn't make sense. Like... It's such a fun place yeah, to be. Yeah, man. And it's not like you have to be anything or no, be dude. anyone or like no. think about things a certain way. It's like just come and fucking say your shit. And if it's good, it's good. And if it's not, you can still hang. Like it's, I don't know. I feel like there's so many false perceptions. Of can too. Well, not even just him, just in general. Like as oh, a generalized yeah. statement, there are just so many false perceptions of people in the yes, comedy scene dude 100 percent. like i mean i feel like people pass judgment so easily on right. everybody well and like they don't really i think know what people, people forget well. is people are like oh well i don't like what he said on stage like it's right whatever that must like be mean him. or whatever and it's like these people aren't getting on stage they're trying to make you laugh yeah do you think they're trying to be hurtful right they're yeah. trying to <laughs> to make you laugh yeah because i mean at least specifically when i write i think what i'm writing down is funny right i think it is and then i'll say it or like i'll be reading it while i'm on stage and i'm like ah oh, fuck like this joke doesn't have a punchline but i'm gonna say it anyway because i need to feel this guilt <laughs> and then i'll just like say a joke that literally has no ending and people are staring at me and i go told you yeah <laughs> like, yeah I don't, I don't my one of my favorite sayings is I don't have an ending for this. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Yet. And then like you can 
I mean, you can try to find your way out of things. Yeah. You can try. Sometimes it works. Or you can just make fun of yourself and come back to it later. Mm-hmm. Like, there's... That's the thing about comedy is you can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, you There's know no what? There's uh, no two ways about it. Like, people that have gotten famous, that have started to make money, that have made money, they've all done it different ways. Yeah, man. So There's like, no direct path. Nobody's going to be able to sit there and tell you, oh, don't fucking do this. Don't do that. Shave your beard. Grow your hair out. <laughs> cut your hair. Don't wear shorts on stage. Like Pull your cock out, pull, Anthony. Don't pull your dick out. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, Louis was canceled for, what, two months? Like Yeah. Uh, yeah, is he allowed back at Parkway? Louis C.K. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the other Louis. Yeah, I was talking I was about like, well, I wouldn't call him canceled, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, he was canceled for a little bit. Yeah, and then he but, put out a successful ass YouTube special. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're not YouTube. It was on his website. I'm pretty sure. But same thing with Gillis. They canceled him for. <laughs> yeah, they canceled him for fucking doing his yeah. little thing. Yeah. And then they his literally had lot. him on the show yeah. to host his show. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's bananas. Yeah, yeah, man. That's fucking awesome though. Do you, do you, you just watch his fucking uh, tires? You watch yeah, it, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. I've more than Gillis more than a couple a times, I was making farm animal noises. Yeah, <laughs> I was laughing so yeah, man. hard. Yeah, so <laughs> it's so good. I'm I'm a very big fan of Gillis, though. I really like his yeah. sense of humor. Oh, yeah. His so like you know I don't know. I I get it's not for I guess everyone, but for the people who it's not for, it was wrong. more than it was more than him. <laughs> yeah, that was funny on that show though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like Stavros was fucking. Yeah, hilarious. yeah, Stavros was really good in that. Stavros is fucking underrated as fuck, and that's like that's the cool thing about being down in Austin, dude. Like next time I go down, you should go with me. We want to go down there. Yeah, come with me. We've been talking about it because we'd like to do to, the podcast from down there. Even. I'm trying to go down. Like I was saying, August, but realistically, probably September would work a little bit better. Just depends on when in September. Logistically, yeah. My daughter's like, birthday is in time, September. It would be time <laughs> to like sign up for Kill Tony. Yeah, so it would have to be a yeah. Monday. Yeah. How would many have times have you signed so up? So I signed up four, five, seven, seven, seven times. Seven times. Yeah, because I just signed up for the two in um, LA. So they did the Kia Forum on it was Friday, May eleventh. And you're in a bucket with how many other oh, fucking dude, at this that point, one, dude? That one was like three hundred and seventy some people yeah, the first dude. night. But the fucking second night was only like eighty people. Oh man, those are oh. good odds. Dude, the craziest fucking, the craziest shit in the world happened. So you know how you like go in and sign up? Well, you go in, you sign up, and there's a line, right? Yeah. So the fools that were right in front of me, it was three dudes. The whole time, I'm sitting. I was standing behind them in line. It took like five minutes before we started talking to each other, got Instagrams, and like just started cutting the shit up. The whole time, we sign up, we're chilling. I go, I, I get in front of them after signups because they all waited for each other. I went through, signed my NDA and all the other shit. And I'm waiting over by the side trying to figure out what the fuck to do. They came over to me. They're like, hey, let's go get fucking Costco hot dogs. I was like, bet. Let's fucking send it. So, uh, Glizzy time? Yeah, literal. So, uh, no, nah, I'm kicking it with those fools the whole time. All three of them rode together. All three of them got picked. Oh, oh my god how frustrating same dude. car all three of them got picked uh on the the, the, the second the night? youtube show yeah yeah the one that just aired last yeah. night did you watch it already yeah so owen i haven't yet owen parker i can't remember um darcy and seven 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 yeah, was good. seven was in the car with all of them seven e7 yeah seven was the one that got picked first okay and this was after we're just kicking it, and uh, the kid that's a producer for the show was like, yeah, we're going to start here soon. Goes in, comes back out. He goes, first comic, seven. And we're literally standing just, dude, we were closer than Yin's are to me right now because it was starting to get fucking chilly. She it's like, making out? It's like 8 o'clock. I was holding one of their dicks. It's 8 o'clock. <laughs> and, like, I was like, we're just chopping it up. And he goes, seven. And I was like, bro, what the fuck? And he goes, let's fucking get Like, dude, every time, every time. It's like we're just standing in a little That's ass circle, crazy. just all. Well, crazy. like then people and started then coming up to you, us. nobody called you, dude. People started <laughs> yeah. coming up to us. They're like, "Oh, where are you guys chilling?" And they're like, "That's the homie. That's the homie." And like we're going crazy. Like 
It's so surreal when it happens to yeah, somebody dude. you know. Like, I can only imagine what it's I like bet. to be that person. Yeah. Like, and to do good. Bro, he got a big joke book, too. Yeah. The yeah, other two man. got little ones. That's yeah. the thing. Like, it's one thing to get picked. You're like, hell yeah, dude. But if you go up there and bomb, you're like, I can only imagine how much you hate. I know how bad I've hated myself after some likes after bombing. Oh, yeah. Could you imagine after bombing in front of millions of people? Bombing at an arena? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, dude. Just cry. Not today, ISIS. Just cry. (laughs) Yeah, dude. Just cry on the way home. Oh, yeah. One of my worst bombs, my car broke down on the side of 279 after, dude. That's in today? the snow. You bombed today? <laughs> in the snow. <laughs> no, just new car. Come on. Yeah. It's time. I don't want that car payment. It's time. I don't want it. It's time. It's going to be way more than I was already paying. It's time. <laughs> God is telling you. Time after time. Time after time. <laughs> If you fall, I will catch you. I will be waiting. waiting. (laughs) But not your fucking car. (laughs) I won't break down. (laughs) (laughs) If you get a new car. Yeah. I I don't want to. Because your car is old, it will not take you (laughs) where you want to (laughs) go. Yeah. If you fill it will gas, it will not get you <laughs> from point A to B. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this lady walking, smoking a cig? What's up? Damn, bro. She didn't hear me. She has a triple XL hoodie on. She definitely just came from I Speedway. wonder if she knows she'd still look good with a double XL one on. <laughs> <laughs> She looks like she does Oxycontins, dude. She looks, <laughs> she looks like she might do the original Oxycontin. OCs. She looks like she does Oxycontin, but also still awake for Pilates at six in the morning. So yeah, some people are functional. She's yeah. a <laughs> fit lady. <laughs> She's like, I actually prefer to have a glass of Pinot Grigio and two Percocet. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any? Do you have any Percocet? No, nah, dude. She's about to go trick something for fucking like ten bucks. Dude. I like <laughs> I like a glass of Sauvignon Blanc <laughs> and a fucking Vicodin. Okay. <laughs> I don't need you coming at me over the top rope. I worked in a treatment center. You know how many older ladies came in that were like that? Like, they just, like, wine and, like, Xanax, dude. That's a crazy combination. (laughs) Yeah, dude. You're like, hey, take this pill if you want to get knocked the fuck out and don't remember anything. And also, don't drink with it. And what do women do? Let's get drunk. Yeah, (laughs) man. It's, like, crazy. It was nuts. Housewives, dude. Yeah. They do be desperate. (laughs) (laughs) For anything, man. It It was crazy, the amount of older middle-aged housewives that were in treatment centers for literally like xanax and wine that's fucked bad yeah so like it's like a you know a joke i feel like a pretty mainstream joke about wine and xanax with middleweight but like it's a joke definitely. for a fucking reason dude yeah, it's for real just change the prescription jug yeah <laughs> Wow. You're like, Always must yeah, be. Susan came in last week. Adderall and wine. Adderall and wine. <laughs> Could you imagine, dude? She just zooted fucking making the football jerseys for their kids, dude. Knitting them. But this is fucking <laughs> like, with the lines are like mountains. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> she's so blacked out, but she's still awake. So one no. eye's twitching, but she's so, and she's no, like, dude. I fucking got this. <laughs> The you Adderall, get your ass away from me, Michael. The I Adderall have- will overpower the alcohol yeah. for sure, dude. She's, no, it's a Flo Rida song, Apple Bottom Jeans Boots with the Fur. <laughs> yeah, it's she, like, the mom made those, dude. They yeah. knitted them on, Al- on, on <laughs> Pinot Grigio and fucking, <laughs> and fucking Xanax, dude. She's like, grab the apple, <coughs> but it's crown. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. We'll sew these fucking jerseys. And I worked at a high end one too. So, like, it was all. Foot Locker? R- rich folks. You worked at Foot Locker? Uh, partly. Oh. <laughs> Some of their kids probably do. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it was all like. All of the rich folk. 
super like I was like, damn. I don't want to. I don't know if I probably get. I'd break somebody's HIPAA if I name dropped, huh? Probably, yeah. The, we'll just. Well, I feel like I could get around it with this. The H and H and R block. His son. <laughs> 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 Discreet. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say the name, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, it was one of them. You know what I mean? Like, shit like that. Yeah. Uh, I just, pff, people he definitely... stormed out of the treatment center. He didn't couldn't handle the rules. And then his dad bought him, got him a beach house right Wait, there, dude. Ready for <laughs> I this? was like, this is going to be helpful. <laughs> ready for, for this one? You know, you know that fucking uh, that passages Malibu one, the dude that's yeah, like dude. all. I used up. to be a, an addict. Now I'm not. Yeah, <laughs> that, that dude died yeah. like 15 years ago. Yeah, from he, an overdose. Imagine that, dude. Yeah, that's why that commercial has never changed. Yeah, <laughs> that's the son of the owners. Oh shit! And he died dude. of an overdose. Oh my god! No wonder he's not in that anymore. fucking facility. Damn. Yeah, yeah passages Malibu. That's just like a hotel, is. <laughs> yeah, literal. Like, I mean, you could just do whatever you want there. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It's a hotel, California. Yeah, they like pet horses on the beach and shit. Yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> wild shit. Imagine doing ketamine and doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it helps PTSD people. <laughs> <laughs> just, Fuck PTSD. Uh, I, I, I have PTSD. <laughs> me, give me that fucking ketamine, bro. <laughs> yeah, I. It's crazy what they're using and how it's helping people for like depression and shit. Yeah. Like ketamine. The doctor's therapy like, let me, is like, yeah, doctor's like, let me put you in a quick K hole. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you better bring your mountain gear tonight because yeah. you're going to be climbing. Yeah. <laughs> he like hands you a shovel when yeah. you walk in. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, Doc, what's this for? And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> get in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's just a fucking retard playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man it's fucking nuts it's crazy mushrooms bro my mushroom mom my mom bought me a celery. mushroom chocolate bar in new york city and gave it to me for christmas <laughs> i look at her i go lady what the fuck is this so what's it like tripping not seeing colors bro <laughs> that's a i feel like this is a great you question want me to blow your fucking mind so just like uh tripping what? is the only time i can see colors really no, you retard. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I was like, Fuck whoa. Yeah, you got his ass, yeah. dude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you did, man. I was like, holy shit, this is a breakthrough. <laughs> yeah, dude. Did you feel like fucking Jimmy Neutron? <laughs> dude. He's like, he like he had a, you gotta get a camera go in his ear. Like, <laughs> yeah, dude. Brain blast. Like, yeah, dude. <laughs> I was no, like, dude. we need to bring this to the science, <laughs> mainstream know, science. This is 100%. I did read this on Reddit. Yeah. Take this with a grain of salt. But yeah. um, some dude, he said he uh, lost his smell and uh, sense of taste and smell because of COVID. Yeah. And then he ate an eighth of shrooms and it all came back. Like, it, it like prolonged for the, like, he couldn't taste or smell anything for months on end, he said. Like, COVID was gone. He still couldn't taste or smell anything at yeah. all. And then he fucking ate some shroomies. Just chilling with the boys. And it fucking, it, it all back. came back. Yeah. It was on the shrooms Reddit thread. I read it. Damn. Yeah, it's dude. the cure for COVID. It's insane. Yeah. yeah. But my mom bought me one of those mushroom chocolate bars in New York City. I go, I look at her. I go, lady, do you know what this is? <laughs> and she was like, weed? And I go, uh-uh. She goes, John, what is it? And I was like, Ma, this is mushrooms. <laughs> she goes, no, it's not. And I showed her on the fucking front of it. There's a little mushroom guy <laughs> in three phases, right? The first phase, it reads one to three, okay? And it's just a happy little mushroom guy, okay? <laughs> yeah. Then it is four to seven. And it's a mushroom guy whose face is falling off of his face. <laughs> And then it's eight plus, and the mushroom is laying on his back, <laughs> melting into the ground. <laughs> and I go, Ma, this is mushrooms. And I pull it up on the website, and I yeah. show her, and she goes, holy fuck. I go, where did you get this, lady? She goes, I walked into a dispensary. I go, yeah. She goes, I said, I want chocolate. And he gave me this. I go, 
did you eat any? And she goes, your aunts and I had a couple bars. <laughs> and I was <laughs> like, Ma. damn. Was she lit? I go, Ma, what happened? She goes, I mean, we just thought we got really drunk that night. <laughs> and I go, so shit was moving. And she goes, the concrete wouldn't stay still. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My aunts all trip balls in New York City. <laughs> That's crazy. How and much they did they to eat? Go see, they went to go see a fucking play. They went to go see the Outsiders, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they thought they ate weed chocolates. They went to go see the fucking Outsiders, dude. <laughs> Yo, that's so funny, the Outsiders. How much did they eat? Bro, they each ate like a little bar of these chocolates. Oh, my oh God. And there was five of them. These five oh, little, no. five little, dude, they're like five foot two, five foot three, five foot one. Like, <laughs> my aunts are little bitches, dude. And they're all wandering around New York City tripping face. <laughs> That's funny, dude. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> like, that's the funniest thing about me <laughs> that these people know. <laughs> like, they're like, this dude hasn't given us fucking anything this whole time. He waited till the end to say this. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> you never answered what it's like colorblind tripping. Oh, yeah, I was fucking with you. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's so the colors that I can't... so. The way I would explain colorblindness, my particular version of colorblindness, the way I would explain it is, I uh, like if you put colors that normal people can see together, they just look the same. So I can still see colors, but they're not as like vibrant or bright. So like if it's like a really dark shade of brown and like really shitty grass, I can lose things in the grass. I can lose. They, like I have red handle pliers that I have for work, like uh, wire strippers. If I put them down in the grass, I'll lose them until like I mean it takes a second, like yeah. but I can't just like look and be like oh they're right there. I have to like comb the grass, <laughs> to find them. bro. It's brutal. Yeah, it's brutal. That's I feel sucks. like I could probably get a like disability from the government. You should man because I can't see things good. You know you should. You should say COVID did it, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can make I would money, say dude. I'd blame it on the fact that I dripped liquid acid into my eyes. You tried that one before? time. Yeah. Somebody tried getting me to do that once, and I was yeah. like, "No, man." But I mean, I was already colorblind before that. Yeah, they were like, "It's the best visuals you ever have." I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, I don't want to be blind. I don't know you well. <laughs> yeah, I don't want you dripping drugs in my eyes." <laughs> no. And I was gnarly then, dude. I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> my heart, my heart just started racing. <laughs> When you said that, like, literally the craziest, aside from DMT, the absolute craziest visuals I've ever gotten in my entire life. Yeah? Just, bro, it looked like I was looking through a kaleidoscope for 12 hours. I've had <clears throat> shit like that <laughs> where, like, if I just, like, I'll watch the moon and the clouds and everything. Yeah. And it would just kaleidoscope <laughs> out. Yeah. Like, 100%, I've had, like, wild... <laughs> visual trips like that not dripping them in yeah. my eyes so i did one in each eye and it was just yeah. you trusted the person though right nope it was at a festival well. the dude was also walking around with another dude that had a bowl <laughs> that had a sticker on the bowl that said five dollars for a sip add what you want what was it exactly <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I think you could drink it <laughs> because it was syrup, <laughs> like codeine. Yeah. <coughs> but I'm asking him what's in there, and he goes, oh, liquid psilocybin, liquid LSD. Uh, there's some molly. There's some ecstasy. Um, wow, dude. Yeah. Somebody, he was like, there's some PCP. And I was They're like, like, do you want to uh, be depressed Tomorrow, he's like, it's literally <laughs> that's five, what's in this, literally dude. five dollars for a sip. We're gonna drain you of. <laughs> we're gonna wring out every piece of fucking serotonin and yeah, dopamine literal. you have, and tomorrow you're not gonna feel great. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. But I was like, that seems enticing. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, I also have this, and it was just a liquid vial of LSD. And I was like, hell yeah, dude, how much? And he goes. Uh, 10 bucks, but it's the same price if I put it under your tongue, on your tongue, 
or in your eyeball. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, here's 20 bucks. <laughs> 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 I like, couldn't pull it out of my fucking wallet fast enough, bro. <laughs> like, gave him the money, and he's like, which one first? And I said, which side's your favorite? <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> like, it's up to you, bro. <laughs> like, fucking big one, bud. <laughs> like, How bad did it burn? They said it Yes. Burns. Yeah, they said yes. it burns. It's excruciating, but yeah. it's almost immediate. Like, the visuals? Excuse me, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, so, like, as soon as I can see again, <laughs> it's like, excuse me. How long? It's like squirting a lemon in your eye. How, so, how long till you could see again? Like, how long were you like, wow, what? First off, after they did the first one, were you, like, uh, second guessing the second one? Yeah, I mean, I sat down for probably ten minutes. But Before I mean, they did the second? No, no, no. I did both back to back. Oh, okay. I said just send it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I had both of my eyes held open and then he ripped this one I closed. He ripped that one I closed. It, and I was like, okay. And then I opened my eyes and it was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I sat down. I just sat down right where I was. And I just sat there for like 10 minutes. And then I opened my eyes and I like kept blinking my eyes. I was like putting water in my eyes and shit. Yeah. And uh, I finally stood up when I could see again. And bro, I... I another world i was tripping fucking absolute face absolute face i've had some wild trips oh dude and that's like my favorite is acid for sure hands down that's what i I always told people too i love a good mushroom trip though mushrooms make me yawn and shit yeah that's the thing about shroomies that's an actual like that's that's a side effect of mushrooms though well and like uh, in addition to that like sometimes when you rip too many shroomies things start to vibrate so, like, it makes me hard, like, it makes it hard to, like, have eye contact with people and, like, look at people, especially, like, me. It's, like, they start to vibrate. And, like, I have a hard time staring at people and their faces <laughs> vibrating. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I'm, like, yeah. I'll, like, look at the ground when I talk to people or, like, I'm big on not tripping around people that aren't also tripping because I like to stare at things. Like, I mouth open stare. At, like, I'll be, like... <laughs> yeah like well, if the like a tile like this the floor guaranteed would move guaranteed. yeah 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 so, or even this wall dude i would just yeah man well that's part of the fun watch it go in and out and that's part swirl. of it you're like whoa oh yeah yeah but like if you're if you're not tripping and you saw a dude just staring at a wall <laughs> you'd be like what the fuck is wrong with that guy and i'd be like yeah i am a bad person <laughs> and like i'd get all like in my head and like have a bad trip and shit because it's like I get introspective with it. And you don't want to do that yes, when you trip your face. Like, man. I mean, you do, but you I'm don't. I'm a crier when I trip sometimes, dude. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say out loud. No, dude. It's, it's perfectly kidding. natural. <laughs> <You're kidding. laughs> yeah, dude, it's, it's very, like, eye-opening. And, like, you can't abuse psychedelics. Because no. when you start to abuse psychedelics, it just, they don't. They it, don't work. Exactly. Yeah. It's like, that. I trip, I like to trip once or twice a year. And I just, it's like a, it's a spiritual adventure for me. So like I go like in the woods and go on walks and I play with my dogs and like anything that like I feel is insightful, I'll write it down and I have like a trip log. Yeah, man. That's sometimes fucking, I look back that's a good at way it and to I'm like, what the it? fuck was wrong with me? And then <laughs> yeah. sometimes I feel I like, like no cool. matter what, you shouldn't be doing it more than probably once a month. Absolutely. That's yeah. what the, they say a primal, um, <clears throat> Like per like it's up, it's completely out of you. Like you, you would you would get the full effects of it again if you waited a, at least a full month. They call it a primal something. Fuck I forget. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man. No. Uh, whenever I was younger, I tried to abuse them, and like all you find is that you don't trip anymore. Yeah, <clears throat> you're. Yeah. You build up a fast tolerance. It's I don't so know, fast. I don't know how fast you build it up to like things like pills and things like that because I've never fucked with them. But yeah. I do know that when you do, like if you do shrooms twice in the same weekend, you can't eat an eighth and it happened the same way no. it happened the first night. You have yeah. to eat like four and a half. Other drugs grams. are not even remotely the same in that aspect. You have to do double what you did the yeah. night before if you do it two nights in a row. So I remember doing acid twice in one weekend and I took a tab friday Mm -hmm. and then i took a tab on saturday and i was like what the fuck so i had my buddy come over and give me two more from his strip 
and I ripped both of those and I finally got to the place I was at on Friday and that's I took right. two more tabs comparatively. Yeah. And like that's the thing, like you'll still feel something. Yeah. There's something. But it's just not yeah. the same, dude. Yeah. 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 So I always tell people, I'm like, don't do that. It's not even worth it. It's not it's not the fun you want to have. 100%. If you're going to do it, do it right. <clears throat> exactly. Don't try and abuse it. Space it's not it to be abused. Exactly. Yeah. It's very introspective. Oh, man. Anytime it. I've ever... It's been like the most introspective. Oh, yeah. Life-changing sometimes. Yeah. Going on a uh, bachelor party trip, um, not this coming weekend, but the following weekend, and... I'm going to trip my fucking balls off. Yeah, trip face. I'm going to trip at? my absolute balls off. Uh, Elcottville, New York. So we're going mountain biking, kayaking. Nice. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. That'll be fun. Going to bring a <clears throat> going to bring a quarter of blow. <laughs> going to bring uh going to bring a 10 strip of acid. Going to bring probably <clears throat> uh 2 grams of raw DMT. <laughs> uh, going to bring uh This is like fear and loathing. Uh, and wherever the fuck you are <laughs> quarter quarter pound of mushrooms so we'll be there for four days so we're leaving thursday we'll be back monday night so what is that thursday friday saturday sunday and then monday during the day but yeah we're gonna we're gonna get after it you're not you're you're not gonna feel right after that week no that's the thing about when you <laughs> when you trip when you do these things you do feel good after because tripping, you're tripping yeah yeah Bring but more. I mean, doing, <laughs> drinking, we drink. We drink a fuck ton. Yeah. And we're doing a fuck ton of blow. Yeah. Waking up those days aren't great, but yeah. the, 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 <laughs> the way that we have it planned is we're gonna kayak those mornings. So we sweat all that bullshit out of us, and then we'll eat some mushrooms oh, while yeah, we're dude. kayaking. We got. Don't worry. We do this all. The you got to plan. Yeah, oh, yeah. You got to map out. Are, yeah. It's fine. Like my buddies, I've been friends with since I was yeah. like twelve. <laughs> yeah. And we like last summer we uh, we went to Cooks Forest and we kayaked sixty five miles in a weekend. <clears throat> Holy kayak, shit, dude! Kayak backpacking. So it's similar to like what we're doing with this, but we're we're stationary on this one, so we can get more fucked up. <laughs> but pretty much like we'd wake up every day. At least I would, and I'd eat like an eighth of shrooms, or eat a little bit more or take a day <clears throat> do some molly <laughs> dance on the water eat some shrooms or take a tab but uh we'd float until we were like all right we're hungry and we'd find a spot set up a fire make some lunch excuse me <clears throat> get back in float until we felt like making dinner that's the spot for the night and we wake up do it all again and then there's days it's like Dude, we floated 20 miles. Like, it's not even like we worked. Like, yeah. Yeah, we were yeah. just giggling, like, yeah. laughing with each other, smoking, drinking down the whole way. And, yeah, like, yeah. It ain't nothing. It's a blast. That sounds like a good time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, we got to travel, brother. We got to get down there. <clears throat> I like kayaking. I've only been a few times. Definitely not 65 miles. Uh, <laughs> it's a long weekend for sure. Yeah. Because you got to do at least 22 miles a day to make it back to the truck, to drive back up, to make it to work on monday <laughs> <laughs> so you have to yeah yeah, yeah. i think that's <laughs> it's a good incentive it's probably the key in yeah. it is so well like, we have to <laughs> yeah so like that's the the first day is kind of like a lollygag day but like there's we still got to stay a little bit on track yeah, but like yeah. if you fuck off enough on the first day <coughs> it makes the last two days shitty. you gotta buckle down yeah and then it's usually like there have been a couple trips where <clears throat> we have like fucked off a bit too much on the first day yeah so we buckled down and did, uh, like, we really crushed. Just do a bunch of fucking blow and just paddle your asses off. And you're like, wow, we did 35 miles today. Like, holy shit. Like, we're good tomorrow. We can wake up late even. Like, yeah. Like, it's, we got it down to a science. So the, my, my thing is, like, whenever they want to go backpacking, just backpacking, mm -hmm. and they want to hike 65 miles, that's Way different. much different because like with water you have current and you're being yeah carried. yeah even if you're just floating yeah you can be carried you ain't carried when you're walking <laughs> yeah unless it's fucking you <laughs> yeah i've never been backpacking but i do like it's not some like, lighter hiking yeah. so like i've been on some tougher ones where i'm like ooh, okay yeah. <laughs> so like i can decent, only fucking imagine a decent backpack would be like 20 miles yeah dude so okay. you'd like you'd do Seven miles a day. 
which I don't if you think do is a that weekend, bad. it's not bad. No, but I mean, you figure you're walking at a brisk pace. You're doing about a mile every twelve minutes. I feel like that's, that's something brisk, I could definitely that's do. That's a brisk pace with no pack or anything on you. Yeah. If you're backpacking, you got to have your sleep, your food, your cooking, yeah. utensils, yeah, yeah. your hygiene. Well, I think that would be the thing <clears throat> it's is difficult. with that. Because, like, I've definitely hiked some yeah. miles. Fuck so, yeah. like, uh, but not <laughs> with a bunch of Hold shit. Holding a sack. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. yeah. It's much different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. That's why, like... People are like, oh, I love backpacking. It's like, how many times have you gone? If it's <laughs> under five, then, like, they like backpacking for sure. <laughs> but do they love backpacking? <laughs> it takes a yeah. certain type of person yeah. to really, like, get into it. Yeah, which, like, I don't know. I feel like it would definitely be something fun because I like being in the woods, period. Yeah. So, like, doing that and, like, camping, I enjoy I would just have to really get used to carrying all the shit while, yeah. I'm, while I'm hiking. And that's why, like, they make all those, like, weird, <clears throat> like, coffee cups that, like, convert into other things or, like, sporks that have a knife on the other side. Oh, Like, okay. condenses space and yeah. things like that, you know? Oh, that makes sense. <clears throat> Damn. You're out there doing it, dude. Yeah. Just doing the, doing the thing. The John of all trades. John. <laughs> 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 the John of all trades. Yeah. All right. Where are we at? Hour and 45 minus five minute break. That's so casual. <laughs> that was so casual, boys. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, you want to wrap it up? Anything yeah. you want to plug or anything, dude? You doing anything? Got anything lined up? Anything? Uh, so, we're. Uh, Doing this, uh, yeah, this show, the 22nd of June, let me see, Toby just sent me the fucking tickets for it, actually, let me see where it's at, sorry guys, oh no, you're fine, um, it is at Kickback and Laugh Comedy Fest, <laughs> <clears throat> Where's that? I have no fucking idea. <laughs> <laughs> Figure it out, folks. No. <laughs> CCI? What the fuck? Kickback and Laugh Fest. View event. Here we go. Country Corner Inn. 17880 Cole Road, Conneautville, PA. Oh shit, up in Conneaut, huh? Nice. Yeah. Starts at 5 o'clock. There's 20 comedians and two music acts. Nice, dude. Hell yeah. Who else is performing with you? Anybody from down? Andreas, Chuck, Trevor, Georgia, oh, yeah. Eric, uh, John Huff, me. Let's see who else is in this group. Man, that sounds like a good lineup already. Georgia, Hell Pete, yeah, man. Pete. Eli, Abby Elias, Josh Rittenauer, oh, man. Joe Tongle, Big Hoss, Louie, Zach Conklin, me. <clears throat> yeah, there's 20 of us. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. We'll nice. fucking pull up, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, not, that's not next weekend, but it's the following weekend. Yeah. When you, <clears throat> when I you mean, doing the 22nd? That just <coughs> depends on my car. <laughs> if, your car if your car's not fixed in two weeks, bro. Come get I'm killing that guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to walk in like, I'm going to fucking kill you, bro. <laughs> He's like, who is this bald man? And like, it don't matter. You see me refracting the light, bitch? You're dead tonight. <laughs> yeah, no, man. That does sound like, man, first off, it <laughs> sounds like a bomb ass lineup, dude. Yeah, it's gonna be I like pretty time. much yeah, everybody want, you fucking named. I want to go. <laughs> yeah. Pull up, boys. Pull up. Let's yeah. have a good time. Yeah, man. That Let's might be time. fun. Dude. When it's is also it? the same. It's the same night as Four Chord. I don't know if you guys were planning on going to that. <coughs> like Data remembers performing that night. Oh, okay. Um, it's a Four Chord Music Festival. How much are your tickets? To that? No, dude. Oh, to this? Yeah. Did you say 10? No, I didn't. When did you say it was? 22nd not this 22nd yeah is that a five saturday tickets. it is saturday yeah ten dollars it starts at five and i think it's an hour north of the city so you'd probably have to leave wait no let me dude. look how far it is from here yeah 
we're an hour north of the city. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it's probably pretty fucking close from here. Yeah, man, Conneaut's not like the worst. Country corner, yeah. man. Let me see. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's forty nine miles from here, so you're still an hour. Yeah. God damn, we're close to Youngstown. Yeah, man. God or a hop, skip, oh, and a yeah. jump. God damn, we're close to Youngstown. My girlfriend lives in Boardman. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> it's better in Newcastle. If I ever got on Kill Tony, I'd ask Tony if he's been here. Yeah. Newcastle? Yeah. I like that he pretends to be from Youngstown. Yeah. He's from Youngstown, isn't he? He, no. Yeah, but no, not Youngstown. I grew up with Where's black people in Youngstown. Where's he from? He's from, like, a nicer neighborhood in, like... Uh, That's like me saying I'm from Pittsburgh. Yeah. I'm from Cranberry. Right. Yeah, Yeah, dude. It's like the same thing. He's from like Lowellville. Not actually Lowellville, but like, you know what I mean? Like a nicer part. At least that's what I heard anyway. I guess I shouldn't say for sure. But I know somebody who was, uh, their boss was neighbors with him. My girlfriend's boss was neighbors with Tony growing up. And sometimes what he says isn't actually accurate. <laughs> so, but who's going to call him out? Nobody in L.A. has been to Youngstown, Ohio, dude. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what? Sounds like a shithole. <laughs> like, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. And that is it. 22nd. I might be going now. All right. Sold it's me time. on it. Yeah, Anthony's pulling his cock out, dude. Let's go. Woo! Yeah. He did it, dude. Hell yeah, that dude. He's fucking huge, dude. Holy dick's out shit. for Harambe. Oh, my God. My face is getting red, dude. That's a dick, boys. I'm going to go jerk off my. That's a dick. <laughs> Love y'all.